Good morning from my backyard. We're going to move through a nice maybe 10-15 minute practice. So let's start off with just a little bit of breathing and get ourselves into our bodies. First be aware of whatever space you're in. Take a few deep breaths. Um, if you've never done yoga before, take a quick peek at this first. Make sure everything's within your comfort zone to move through comfortably so you're not turning your head while we're doing this. Um, to look at the, the camera. So let's just take a few deep breaths and start out. Take a breath in and out. Allow the shoulders to soften as you exhale. Breathe in and out. Allow the shoulders and the back of the neck to soften. Let your tongue relax down to the bottom of your mouth. Let your neck and jaw relax just a little more here. Notice the rise and fall of your chest. And by focusing in on our breath, we come back a little closer to our center, a little uh, easier to feel the body and notice what we're doing and to kind of come out of our heads a bit. So notice that rise and fall of your chest and if it helps, bring your hands to your heart. Take a few deep breaths here. that you can create your own sense of calm and peace at any time. Sometimes just a few minutes of this in the morning is enough. Let your fingertips come out to either side of you. Give your fingers a little tap. Take an inhale, stretch up and reach up the arms. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, take your fingertips up. Exhale, bring your elbows down to your side. Stretch the fingertips out again. Inhale, right arm reaches up and over. Take a stretch. Exhale, fingertips float down. Inhale, left arm reaches up and over. Take a stretch. Exhale, fingertips float down. One more time to each side. Right arm sweeps up and over. Take a breath, reach and stretch. And hold this for as long as you would like. And move on to the other side, right fingertips down, left arm up and over, take a nice deep breath, and again, enjoy the stretch, maybe give the fingers a little wiggle, lift up a bit through the ribcage, breathe in, and out, one more inhale, exhale, fingertips down, inhale, both arms reach out, palms come together, we bring our hands to the heart, we take a deep breath in. And out. And from here, we're going to move right into Downward Facing Dog. We're going to bring our palms down to the mat. Come on over to our hands and knees. Take a peek at your knees. Bring them to about hip distance apart. Spread your fingers nice and wide. Turn your toes down and under. And we're going to lift up our hips and knees. And we're going to push the mat away, stretching through our tailbone. Stretching out. Take a breath in. And out. And we're going to start walking the dog. So we're going to pedal our feet. Lifting our heels and bending our knees. And the heels don't have to touch the ground here. It is perfectly okay if they do not. You just want to feel a nice stretch through the backs of your thighs. And just a few breaths here. Maybe pulling the belly button in just a hair. Strengthening those muscles. Lifting up through your hips. And from here we're going to look up at our hands. And we're going to walk our feet to our hands. Keep the knees nice and soft. We're going to do a halfway lift. We're going to bring our palms to our shins, reach the tailbone back, pull the belly button up and in, stretch long through your spine, keep your gaze down at the ground here, exhale, fold down, inhale, push into your feet, sweep up the arms, exhale, down to your heart, inhale, take your arms out, thumbs face up, sit your hips back, so we're sitting into a chair, our bum's not sticking out, the tailbone is pointed down. We're going to pull our shoulders back toward us. And we're going to simply do a twist in each direction. Left arm's going to come back. Right arm still reaching forward. Reach and stretch through your fingertips. Push into your feet. Inhale, bring that arm back. 
pull your shoulders back toward you, sit into the hips, right arm comes back, reach through your fingertips, your head can turn in whatever direction is comfortable for your neck, inhale, come back, stand all the way up, take a breath, exhale, we fold down, halfway lift, palms to shins, fold, inhale, sweep up, exhale to your heart, inhale, sweep back up, exhale, we fold, again, fingertips to the ground, step your left foot back behind you, find a nice lunge here, the right knee is going to be ideally over the right ankle, and if it goes a little past, that's okay, try not to have it too far back here where you're doing this, so if you need to, just grab it and pull it and step it up, Take a breath, and if this is a lot, you can always drop your back knee down. Do what feels best for you today. Take a breath in and out. And from here, we're going to go ahead and bring that back foot to step up. Fold. Halfway lift. Fold. Inhale, sweep up the arms. Exhale to the heart. Inhale, sweep up again. Fold. Fingertips to the floor. Hands to the shin, shoulders out of the ears. Halfway lift. Fingertips to the mat. This time our right foot's going to step back. And we're going to come into a nice lunge. We're going to stretch out the hips here. And if you have some blocks, you can bring your hands up to blocks to make this a little more comfortable. Or your fingertips come down or you drop the back knee. Be mindful of how your body feels today and one side might be a little different than the other. So from here, feel a nice stretch through your hips and your thighs. Breathe in. And out. And we're going to step the back foot up. Fold. Halfway lift, fold, inhale, reach up, exhale to the heart. We're going to take our fingertips to the sky and bring our elbows down. Inhale, sweep back up, exhale, fold, fingertips to the floor. And if this is a lot for your low back, you can always bring your hands right to your thighs. Head, neck, and shoulders relax down. Breath in and out. Inhale, push into the feet, lift back up. Exhale to your heart. Your feet are about hip distance here. Take a peek at them. That ideally lines the outside of your feet up with the outside of your hips. So there should be enough space for about two fists in between your feet. Stand up nice and tall. Bring your weight over to your right foot. Come to your left toes. We're going to step our left foot back behind us. Push down into your feet. Pull your shoulders back a bit. Feel a nice stretch to this top thigh. Push into this front foot. Pull the belly button up and in. Maybe give your bum cheeks a little squeeze, get a little taller. Inhale, sweep up the arms. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, we're going to sweep the arms back behind us. Inhale, sweep them up. Relax through your shoulders. Lift up through your heart. If your balance feels okay here, maybe gaze up. You can also lift your back heel, taking the back leg back just a bit further if you need a deeper stretch here. Take a breath. Breathe in. Reach up through the fingertips. Pull it through your waistline. As you exhale, we're going to reach forward this time. Pulling the shoulder tips back forward. Pulling the belly button up and then leaning, leaning forward a bit more. Reaching back through the tailbone, long through the top of the head. Inhale. Fingertips point back up. Exhale. Hands down to your heart. Step your back foot up. Push down into the feet. Give them a nice little shake. Inhale. Sweep up. Exhale, fold, hands to the thighs, head, neck, and shoulders, relax. Halfway lift, palms to the shins. Exhale, fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale down to your heart. Find your feet again, push gently down to your feet. Left foot on the mat, right toes. Pull your shoulders back and down, take a breath in. And out. Inhale, bring up the knee. Exhale, step your foot back. Find solid footing. It's okay if your back heel does not lift. You want to be sure you're nice and strong into your legs. Push down with your feet. Pull your shoulders back a bit. Inhale, sweep up the arms. Take a breath in. Exhale, sweep them back. Inhale, reach them up. Notice how your legs are. If you'd like to stretch out your back leg a little bit more here and be up on the ball of your foot, softening through that knee, lifting through that heart, maybe gazing up at the ceiling, you can Exhale, sweep back the arms. Inhale, sweep them up. Reach them forward, pull in through the waistline, pull the shoulders back. Reach long through your fingertips, back through your tailbone. Exhale to your heart. Back foot steps up. Shake out the feet. Inhale, sweep up. 
Exhale, fold, hands to your thighs or fingers to the floor, head, neck, and shoulders relax. Halfway lift, palms to your shins, lengthen the spine. Exhale, fold, inhale, reach up, take a breath. Exhale to your heart, breathe in and out, in and out. Soften through your knees, push down into your feet. Sit back into that chair, pull your shoulders back towards you. One more twist to kind of wake up the spine here. Right arm sweeps back. Left arm reach forward, push into the feet. Maybe peek at your knees, make sure one knee isn't popping out in front of the other. Inhale, fingertips back to center, pull the shoulder tips back towards you. Left arm back, right arm reaching forward. Take a breath, breathe in. Allow the head and neck to turn as you will, wherever way is comfortable for you. Inhale, come back. Stand all the way up. Exhale and fold. Halfway lift, palms to your shins. Fold. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale to your heart. Take a breath. Inhale. Exhale. Let's do one nice stretch to each side. Take your arms up. You may not be able to see my fingertips here, but they're there. Step your feet a little bit wider here. We're going to take our right hand we're going to grab our left wrist soft through your knees pull that left arm up a little bit higher reach it over toward the right so you're taking the right hand and you're pulling the left hand toward the right opening up and stretching and if it feels okay you can gaze up here inhale come back up reach up through your fingertips other side left hand grabs the right wrist pull it up a little higher go ahead and pull it over to the other side keep the knees nice and soft Maybe gaze up, breath in, and out. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, arms to your sides. Shoulders come up, shake everything up. Roll the shoulders back a few times. Roll them forward a few times. Now we're gonna draw little circles with our nose, softening our neck. Pretend there's a piece of paper right here, so maybe the circles are just a little bit smaller. Getting into those little tiny muscles in your neck. And then shake your head no, and yes, keeping the neck and shoulders nice and soft, loosey-goosey. Bring the feet back together, give them a nice shake. Let's practice our balance for just a moment. Take a peek at the feet, soften your knees, push down into both feet, turn your palms to face forward. Let's find a mountain here. So in mountain pose, we push into all four corners of the feet, heel of the foot, uh, big toe side of the foot, pinky toe side of the foot, right on the balls of the foot, push down, Pull up through your waistline, push down into your right foot, come to your left toe. See where your balance is at right here. Maybe pull the bum cheeks down toward the ground. Keep lifting through the top of your head, and then maybe bring your left knee up. Take a breath in, and out. If it's difficult, you can keep your toe on the ground. If you're good here, go ahead and kick your leg out. Maybe wiggle the toes, hey. And then bring the foot back. Step the foot down. Find your mount. Push back evenly into both the feet. Reach through the fingers, waistline up and in, lift through the top of the head. Breathe in and out. Lean over to the left foot, right toes to the mat. Pull the belly button and get the bum cheeks a little squeeze. And then go ahead and bring up the right knee. Find your breath. Inhale. Exhale. It can come as high as you like or as low as you like or you can leave your toes on the ground. If you're good here, go ahead and step the leg out. Maybe wiggle a toe, get your balance going on. Bring the foot back, step it down. Push into the feet, reach down through the fingers, lift up through the hot top of the head. Inhale, raise up the arms, reach up through your pinky fingers, give them a little wiggle. I know you guys can't probably see them, but they are wiggling. And then exhale down to your heart, breath in and out. So that was a nice, fast little bit of movement. Well, maybe not super fast, but fast enough to get your blood flowing, get a little yoga in for your morning session. Inhale, sweep up. Exhale, fold, hands to your thighs or fingers to the floor. Halfway lift, palms to your shins. Exhale, fold. Now step back to a down dog if we're comfortable in down dog. If not, drop down to your hands and knees. Reach your tailbone back. Stretch out through your spine. Breath in. And then on the exhale, let your knees come down. Walk your wrist underneath your shoulders. We're going to do one proud poodle to each side. So the arms are nice and tall, the knees are hip distance. If they're touching, they are not hip distance. There should be enough space between your knees, or if enough space for two fists between your knees. Take your left shoulder towards your left hip, look behind you. 
inhale, come back to center. Exhale, right shoulder, right hip, look behind you. Inhale, come back to center. From here, we're going to go ahead and bring our forearms down. Leave our bum up in the air for a puppy pose. Take a breath. If you want to get a little deeper here, take your forearms out in front of you. Let the hips soften down towards the back of your mat. And feel that nice stretch through your low back and your spine. If you prefer child's pose, you're welcome to bring your hips back towards your ankles. But wherever you're comfortable at, we're going to stay here for about five breaths. So take a nice, slow, deep breath in. Exhale, release. Release any tension between your neck and your shoulders. Release any tension from your shins or your forearms or any part of you that's touching the ground. And allow all the tension and negativity that may have stuck to you to release down and away. Take another deep breath in and let it out. Inhale, come on back up. We're going to come on over to a seat. Just a few torso circles here. And back around. And from here, we're going to go ahead and find ourselves in Savasana. So, if you prefer to stay seated, you're welcome to stay seated. If you'd like to lay all the way back and down, you can lay all the way back and down. Find where you're most comfortable. And if you lay down, let your arms spread slightly away from the body. Notice if the space between your neck and shoulders is equal. Let your knees come together to touch and walk your feet slightly apart so that your low back can relax here, or you can simply stretch your legs out long. And again, find a little space. Let the legs spread out, maybe the feet fall gently over to the sides. And we're just going to allow ourselves to observe the rise and fall of our chest. Notice how the breath feels here. Feel the support beneath your body. Simply allow the mind and body to soften and relax. Stay here for as long as you comfortably can. Enjoy a few more breaths. And when you're ready, come to a seat. a little hug, a little squeeze maybe. And I wish you all namaste.